Ian is actually able to These may open. seem like simple tasks, pouring from a bottle into a jar, grabbing a stick and stirring. But for Ian Burkhart, doing this is close to miraculous. A diving accident six years ago left him quadriplegic. Now researchers at Ohio State University have come up with technology that allows his brain to once again control his paralyzed hand. For the first time of being able to move my hand, it was a big shock because, you know, it's something that I haven't, hadn't moved in about three and a half years at that point. Researchers call their work neural bypass technology because it delivers instructions from Burkhart's brain to his hand by going around his injured spinal cord. Doctors surgically implanted a pea-sized probe in Burkhart's brain. An external connection allowed them to attach the probe to a computer running a program that can interpret Burkhart's brain activity. The program then sends Burkhart's instructions to a sleeve on his arm that stimulates specific muscles into action. He is thinking about the actual movements that he wants to make. Uh, so we wanted to uh, really uh, create a technology that would allow that and so that it's more natural. Burkhart first demonstrated limited control just three months after the procedure. Within a year, he was playing Guitar Hero. Results of the experiment were published online today by the journal Nature. I think it's fantastic. I'm really pleased. Peter Athanasopoulos was injured 21 years ago, also in a diving accident. He says the new experiment zeroes in on his own hopes. I remember when I first got injured, being quadriplegic, um, I much more wanted my hands to move than my legs, right, just to do basic tasks. The researchers plan to test their technology on a second subject this summer, acknowledging they are still a long way from applying it in daily life. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.